Hey guys, today I want to explore. Hey man, what are you doing? Well, it is called an intro. I was. Yeah, but we should totally do something different. Different? Hey, my friend Austin did this thing a few weeks ago where he told the story of me or himself and narrated on a blank piece of paper. A story of me? Yeah, but it totally have to be rated R for being utterly ridiculous. So I was born at a very young age to two otherwise normal folks. I call them mom and dad. They were pretty much run-of-the-mill folks, except mom did one time try to drive the riding lawnmower into the pond. And while I'm sure it wasn't planned this way, I do have a fairly large family. I have five sisters and one brother. I come from a small country you may have heard of before called the United States. Now as a kid, we did move around a lot. I moved from here and then we moved here. And then, when I was 10 years old, I came up with the very brilliant idea of riding my bike down a very fast hill and grabbing some bars. It didn't end well, and I ended up fracturing my arm. So I couldn't ride my bicycle for another year, but that's okay, because we ended up moving from here, and then we moved here. So sometime in the early 1990s, I built myself a fairly awesome treehouse in my backyard. Now, of course, I was a rather bored young lad, and so I managed to find myself with several thousand firecrackers. Great idea, you say. Well, yes, I proceeded to throw them out of my treehouse. But after a while, I became bored doing this, and I thought, what could make this activity more fun? Ah, let me think. Of course, gasoline. So I got myself a few gallons and took it up in my treehouse and proceeded to dip the firecrackers in the gasoline and throw them out. Of course, this turned to be a very bad idea as I started a small fire. This fire proceeded to turn into a rather large fire, and, well, technically, I do get in grounded next month. So sometime in the early 1990s, my folks announced that we are going to be packing up and selling everything, moving 9,000 miles to this place called Hong Kong. As a teenager, of course, what I liked most about Hong Kong was the girls, the food, the girls, the festivals, the girls, the uh, culture, uh, the girls, um, of course, the girls, and, well, I think you see where this is going. Shortly after I moved to Hong Kong, we met another family from Pennsylvania. My father and their father became very good friends, and I became okay friends with their daughter. Uh, what I took from this experience in Hong Kong, of course, is that China is cool. After many years of living in Hong Kong, I set out on my own and moved back to the United States. I went to school, and then I started working for several companies. Uh, some big, some small, some you've heard of, and some you probably haven't heard of. With my career underway and my priorities in order, I had to procure what is most important to a young man. A car nostalgic and about as attractive as Jay Leno's chin. I've had a love affair with the classic 80s Camaro for years, and I eventually found one for sale. Unfortunately, this car had seen better years and was parked in an old barn with the doors open. And there were goats, three of them to be exact, living in the back of this car. To this day, there's nothing quite like that new goat smell in a car. I asked the farmer how much he wanted for the car, and he said, Well, I'll sell you that there Camaro for $600, but I keep the goats. I figured that was fair enough, since I didn't have any foreseeable use for livestock in my one-bedroom apartment. Unfortunately, this really was an awful car. The car had a tendency to leak. Nearly everything. It leaked oil, water, power steering fluid, brake fluid. Really everything but gas. This car really was more disturbing than an all Amish bachelor party. As such, every day I had to add a quart of oil. Every time I stopped for a thing of Mountain Dew, I'd put some oil in. 
one for me and one for my homie. There of course came a day when I became sick of the car and I just wanted it to die. And I had a great idea. What if, instead of adding the oil to the car, I added the Mountain Dew instead? And so I did. I opened up the crankcase, I dumped the Mountain Dew in the car, and yet oddly enough, it ran better than before. So life was pretty good. I had my career. I had my car with a bad Mountain Dew habit. And then the expat family that we were very good friends with in Hong Kong, they moved back to America. Oddly enough, they moved to the same city that I lived in. I, of course, had known this family for many years. The parents uh, were really like my second mom and dad. And so I would known the daughter fairly well, although we were not really what I would call friends. And over time, since she moved to the same city I was in, we became friends. And then we became good friends. And then we became really good friends. Then really good friends. And over time, this developed into something else. And eventually, we got married. Like Ferris Bueller says, life does move pretty fast. After we got married, we had one little girl, followed by a second. And then, of course, we had a number of cars, a number of houses. But earlier this year, we sold all of that, packed up our things, and we went back to where we met, back to China. So this is me. My name is Snarky White Guy. I like long walks on the beach, Hong Kong-style nai cha, kung fu, and all varieties of cheese. Well, I appreciate you guys watching the story of me. As always, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay frosty. Bullwinkle, you weigh over 400 pounds? Yes, but it's all muscle.